Hey guys, it's Greg. In this video, I want to show you preview of Unconscious Mind, the game that is now running on Kickstarter. So um, this is the cover of the game. We have a prototype of um, this title. So the rules are not final, fi final finished. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you just components and general overview of what you can expect from the game. But just keep in mind that some things can change in a final product. So uh, if you are interested in this title, just check out this video. All right, so as I said, I'm going to go through the rules very briefly. The game is not set in any particular way. I just want to show you all the components and the mechanisms that are uh, in the game. Um, it's a prototype, very extremely great quality prototype, but it's still a prototype. So uh, some kind of rules I think can still change. Uh, so yes, uh, just keep this in mind. Right, so let me go through all the components and elements you have here. So this, this board on the right, it's a main board where you are going to perform different actions. Uh, this is a place where you're going to send your, let's say, workers. In this game, your workers are your uh, thoughts represented by those um, tablets. Uh, so this is the place where you are performing actions. Here we have uh, a map of Vienna. This is the place where uh, Sigmund Freud is walking around uh, and you can meet him, perform extra actions, acquire some bonuses and so on and so on. And we have a point track around and more or less that's it. Now uh, the player board is over here. Uh, it's a let's say beginning of the game so there's only one tile in here. Uh, what things you have on this uh, player board? So let me show. You have your um, ink pot. You're going to move it around. So it's like a rounded mechanism in here. Here is your track of coffee that you can spend to perform some extra actions. And uh, we have this grid in here where you're going to put those tiles. When you put uh, three tiles in a row or in a, a column, you are going to unlock specific extra things. So you can unlock an extra worker that you can uh, use in the game, or you can unlock those um, crystal bubbles, let's say. Next thing is this tile, it's, it's an inside tile, split into three different insights. I don't remember what those insights are, so we have something like freedom and um, maybe anger or something like this, and um, growth, let's say, I don't know, it's, it's, I, I'm not sure how, uh, what, what are the uh, right names, but each of these insights are split into three levels, and you're going to use those, call, uh, those mm, toughness those bubbles to mark how many insights of different level let's say you have so uh, just basically during the game this board can look more or less like this right so you have four um, power insights on level two and there's one extra bubble that you can also i think use on this um, on this board but this uh, bubble in your color is also used on the map of Vienna so I will show you about this uh, shortly. Another element we have here are those tiles uh, right here. Those are basically um, achievements that you can uh, when you achieve this specific um, requirement over here you are going to get this this tile you get this bonus and you get also those two symbols which are also used on the map of Vienna. And what else we have here? We have these these element in here. This is your um, way. This is your place where you're going to treat your patients. So each patient, and uh, this is the card of the patient. In here we have two hearts. So those are hearts represents the point points of how mm -hmm. hearts represents how many like insanity, let's say, points, you need to heal from them to just cure them. Uh, in, in, on, the below, uh, on the bottom you have, ex again, uh, bonus, instant bonus, uh, some modifiers, so when you cure this uh, person, you get this extra rule that uh, you can apply, and another symbol of, I think, uh, I don't know what, museum, let's say, that is again used on the map of Vienna. But, but each 
Um, patient comes with this transparent uh, card. You need to cover them. That represents, I think, the, their problems. And those covers also add extra hearts. So now you need to, that shows you that you need to heal four uh, points from them. But those overlays also gives you those extra uh, bonuses. So when you remove this plastic overlay, you will instantly get those bonuses. So these are the victory points and this is a symbol of uh, some kind of insight. During the game, you, can, you are going to always have to Patience. Uh, this track represents how many of those hard points uh, are still left to cure from your patients. Uh, here you have symbols how how which uh, no which um, insights you can spend to heal two hearts. You always can resign from your actions to heal one um, uh, one point from each of your patients. And more or less that's it. But this is not only the way to cure your patients. We also have those cards, um, those we said big seed cards, uh, that represent their dreams. And uh, on those cards we have, uh, again, symbols on the right and how many hearts and victory points you will get or other uh, bonuses you will get when you, make, let's say, heal or talk with your patient about this specific dream. So this patient is dreaming about those um, weird animals with something on their backs. And another dream is like this. Those cards are very beautiful and I'm going to show you just uh, a few of them. But as, you, as I said, this is very Dixit-like uh, graphics and I think that fits perfectly this theme as those cards represent those dreams of our patients. And all we know that dreams can be weird. Right. So those are, those are those dreams. So, um, here we have those cards. Each player, each um, patient comes with two cards. And what else we have here? So those are two decks of those dreams. Here we have two decks of different patients that you can cure. Uh, this is one, those with blue one, those blue clouds in here are easier, let's say, and they grant you uh, some kind of modifier for the rules during the game. And these guys are a little bit different, uh, a little bit harder, and they give you scoring at the end of, um, at the, end of the game. So for each healed, um, for example, for each healed um, this easier patient, you will get three victory points. But how, what's more difficult to, when it comes to them, they just simply have more hearts. Right. Another element uh, are those plastic overlays. We have a lot, a lot of them. They are very, each is completely different. And you are going to add them randomly, at least right, right now, randomly to each of your patients that you're going to uh, cure. And finally, we have these elements. So those cards represent your publications in the press. So when you public some kind of theory or your discovery in the press, you are going to get these cards. And those cards uh, has this, uh, those um, cover books or bookmarks, I don't know, uh, on the right side of the um, card. And you're going to collect them, also unlocking some kind of bonuses at the bottom. So when you publish, for example, this card, you are going to get instantly this bonus. Uh, those symbols represent insights, because those insights has different shapes. So in this example, you're just getting two insights of this shape, and you can choose which are going to be. Now, you're going to collect those cards. So for example, you have these cards in your hand, and you can decide that you want to publish a book, like, you know, to pre prepare some kind of big publication, a book, and those tiles over here are used to, uh, are used for for that. So, for example, uh, when you are want when you want to publish this book, you need to collect those um, covers, those bookmarks, and match them with those over here. So you need basically red, green, and blue. You are just putting them like this. For example, I just want to show you. Right, 
you know, putting them like this. I also, I also should add this green one. And your book is published, so you are getting this uh, extra victory points. You are again unlocking some symbols, and you are putting the, your uh, your colorful uh, pebble or whatever what in here to mark that publish that book is yours. So that's more or less. This is the one of the ways uh, how you can use those colorful uh, pebbles more is to unlock on your layer board when you put more tiles in the rows or in the columns uh, and what is very cool when it comes to this mechanic I, I don't know if we're gonna change it change it or not but for example you want to publish this book but you only have red red and mm, green for example but someone uh, someone published already this book and there is also this blue cover so you can cite uh, author of this book take this card from here so if the card was here you can take it and you, you can use it in your book citing this author this author gets extra two victory points and you can publish your book so this is very cool uh, mechanism and that's it, those are the all elements. Oh yeah, maybe uh, more about the map. So uh, this is the map of Vienna and in here we have um, Nipple of Freud. Freud is going to walk around the uh, city of Vienna. In a circle we have like six locations and there are also Nipples of your uh, professors. Those are like students of uh, Freud and you are going to walk around and also perform some actions. Now, how the game, how, what's the flow of the game? So basically you're using those um, bubble, thought bubbles, I think that's the right expression. Um, you're going to use them and perform actions from this board. You can put one, two or three thought bubbles on the board, depending on how many these thunderbolts are, uh, um, depicted over here so in this example in this example i could put all my three bubbles to perform this action and this action allows me to get uh, three insights of one of the colors so when i would put those three bubbles in here i can basically get three insights of each color or uh, nine insights of one color um yeah and what is the um, we have those bubbles with two or even four arrows. So basically when you're putting your th thought bubble in here, you can choose one of those four actions. And uh, finally, on the top of this board, we have those tiles, and this is the, the way how you can acquire those. I think those are the methods uh, of curing people. You're just going to take them from the board and put it on your, um, on your player's board and this is the way to unlock extra um, things but also you are going to on your turn move this ink pot and when the ink pot lands in one of the rows you're going to activate everything what is on this row so if that would land here i would get this one green inside i would oh, this would be this way I, sh I could uh, exchange my one red insight into three green ones, or I can exchange uh, any uh, insight of this shape, so this is the second level, to get to second level green insights. And this is the way where you're going to build your, um, your engine uh, to, you know, prefer to perform and to make different insights that are, you are going to use to cure your patients because as you can see those um, those Dixit cards, those dreams, uh, all of them uh, need, requires some kind of insights that you need to spend to cure your patients. And now how one round of the game looks. So you, are go you can do th two things. You can put your uh, workers on a board to perform some kind of action or when you don't have any more uh, workers uh, in your pool so you need to rest so you're basically taking those uh, those bubbles and then you can perform an action from the city board depending on when you where you are standing those actions in here where there's that um, again thought bubble with disease those are extra um, uh, extra 
uh, bonuses that you can get, but also you can get those points over here and also healing uh, hearts that are on the bottom. And each of the quadrants of the CD board, maybe I will show this closer to you. So each of the quadrants of the CD board um, uses those symbols that I showed you previously that are on the books and are, that are granted by some kind of patients like this one. You see, it matches. So, and I'm just gonna take them out from the board. Um, so, uh, depending on how many symbols you have uh, in your pool uh, gathered, uh, you can spend them, so you can perform one of these actions, or you can perform the, this action. So you're just counting how many symbols you have, you have and uh, you can put your, again, colorful bubble from, the e, from this inside uh, roundel uh, on one of these spaces, unlocking extra victory points and unlocking those um, hearts that are used to cure your, uh, cure your uh, patients. So uh, those are activated when uh, you are performing this rest action and we also have these locations in here and you can uh, again activate them four times that's again represented by those thunderbolts and how many times you can activate this specific um, bonus or action depends on how, ma how many those thunderbolt points you get. So you can get one thunderbolt for your professor standing in this location. You can get one extra thunderbolt for Freud that is also standing in this location, so it's already two points. And there you also get thunderbolts for those uh, symbols, I think, uh, that matches in this quadrant. So when you count this, maximum is four. You can four times perform this or this or uh, other also locations. We also here have this uh, track of reputation and the game ends when Freud, well, uh, so here is this track of reputation and the uh, game ends when Freud gets 10 uh, victory, I mean reputation points. Because every time the players get reputation, Freud also gets uh, his reputation as we are his students. And this is the prototype of Unconscious Mind. The game uses um, some innovat innovations, but also um, there are mechanics that we all know from other uh, worker placements. So it's very um, easy to learn, but it's, I would can say it's rather difficult game um, it's not for everybody uh, you need to have some experience with board games to uh, to play this one so thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one